Mr. Fry, I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Where would I find the doctor? As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Lidson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. How to do it.
What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. There's no one around. I can't get out of here. I stole your key. Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something.
presence in London has not gone unnoticed. Especially since the destruction of our syrup distillery. Oh, bloody rats! What? What will the people? Last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford's steric has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I are a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Hello, viewer, and welcome to our conclusion of our tour of Dr. Elliotson's clinic. As you can see, Jacob Fry mercilessly murdered him for, well, being a very bad doctor. It really does get to a point that these Templars are so completely unself-aware of their own actions and think they're trying to change the world and trying to make things better, but in the end, the first thing that we saw this guy do in action, in person, was that he drilled into some guy's brain and killed him. What possible medical reason did you have for doing that? What kind of breakthrough research were you trying to do, John Elliotson, that would have made that justified, and the fact that you were going to do it again until Mr. Fry stopped you? Thank Christ for Mr. Dickens, who had been helping us out for this entire quest line, and finally figuring out the connection between Dr. Elliotson and the soothing syrup that had been driving London mad. Because it was a corrupt 
well, for a lack of a better term, let's call it an herbal supplement. The Dr. Elliotson assassination is the first one in this game that seems to have been the full assassination package ever since we were... Because before we were just doing tutorials and just being kind of shown around, getting some really easy feet wetting experiences, whereas this is the first actual challenge that we're supposed to meet. Granted, it's still pretty easy. If you do get caught by the guards, they're very easily killable, and they don't seem to be close enough together to alarm each other, and there are barely any alarms that you have to worry about. The opportunities that are available to you are very easily accessible. There's not a lot of faffing around because, like I said, there are, there's not that many guards doing a lot of guard work, and you can kind of see why. I mean, there's not a lot of people here that you need to that you need to supervise so you don't need the staff, and therefore Jacob has an easy time just running up to Dr. Elliotson and killing him in the face, even if he did alert like 10 or 12 guards and ended up having to kill them. It's a pretty good assassination, it actually shows that what Unity was trying to do can actually have a lot of potential, and even though, yes, it is still a Hitman ripoff, it works, it's fun, and it actually, you know, stacks up a lot of different gameplay ideas into something that's ultimately satisfying. Especially when you have, you know, the good assassination target, we're shown that he's evil, and we get back the post-death speeches in which neither character is going to convince the other one, and really the only thing you're going to prove to the player is that the Templars on the side are so cartoonishly evil that they can't see what they're actually doing to people and what harm instead of help they're going to provide to society. So ultimately it's a great job. I am definitely had fun doing it even though, like I said, Assassin's Creed Stealth, even in its good games, is ultimately bullshit and that's why getting the combat option and having that work out in your favor is always a good idea to put in a stealth game. Because like I always say, you need to give your player an opportunity to unfuck your stealth system because if you don't have that, then it's going to get very obnoxious very quickly. Ultimately, it was a great quest line, it was a great assassination, it was challenging, it was satisfying, it had a lot of different avenues, a lot of different options, so you weren't just running up to the target and pressing one button to kill them. So, like I said in earlier videos, it seems like Syndicate's going in a great direction, I hope they keep going in that direction, because what we keep getting shown from Syndicate is ultimately good stuff. So let's keep it rolling!